Today, I'll be hiking the Sutton State Forest Reservoir No. 6 Loop. And we're off. And the interesting thing is, we're off in Massachusetts today. That's right. <laughs> A friend of mine wanted to go hiking. I drove about an hour. She lives in Massachusetts. We chose the Sutton State Forest. Now, the thing about this hike is when we went out originally, it was kind of a cloudy day and the All Trails hiking app led us on a road, like a wide trail. And we're almost at that point now. I'm about to turn onto it. Yep, here it is. But what I noticed when we were walking is the side trails going off of this trail looked way more fun than the path we were given. So this time I am back and I have made my own map plan for the day. And that is to circle around the entire shoreline of reservoir number six. And this is the turn I'm gonna take right now. So while I've already done a piece of this hike before, on the whole, it will be new today and better because the sun is out. <laughs> And look at this area I'm coming up on here. It's like a little ledge walk between a tree and a cliff. Okay, how totally cool is this? We did not see this on our first hike out here. We didn't do this part of the shoreline, but I am loving it already. I'm so glad I came back, but now I feel a little guilty that my hiking partner missed this. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to tell her to come back out here. But look, the sun is shining today. You'll be able to tell the other footage because I use filters to make it look a little prettier. But not today. Do you hear that? Okay, all kidding aside, ducks are absolutely Positively, 100%. One of my favorite things. Yep, it's like combining two of the greatest things in life together. Hiking and ducks. You agree with me, right? I've now reached the part of the trail that I already hiked last week, so I feel like I've pre-scouted out this area. But do I normally pre-scout out hikes before I film them? Thank you for asking, no. That way it's more surprising when I film it. But I usually do have to make two trips to the same trail to get all the footage I need. Check out this rocky climb right here. Unless it's a trail I've already visited before and I'm just redoing it and I go, you know what, this time I'm going to film it. In that case, I can usually get all the footage in one try. I found a little side trail here and I'm exploring it. And check out that bird nest right there. What kind of bird do you think lives there? If it's a trail I'm very familiar with, I already know ahead of time what I wanna capture. Check out this climb here. We actually missed this section last time. We took a right turn instead of a left. So this is new. But when I'm exploring a trail I haven't been on before, sometimes I don't know what the real highlights are and I might not get enough footage of a certain area or feature. And then in retrospect, I go, you know what? I should've filmed this or that. Or maybe I didn't explore enough of the trails and I want to go back and capture more of that. Anyway, moral of the story is it usually takes two trips to a site to get all the footage if it's a new hike for me. Is that a Karen in the water telling me to go that way? I am not going that way. Ooh, look at the cliffs over there. Okay, we didn't go on the other side of that pond, so I'm really excited to, or reservoir. Really excited to go over there. I hope the trail takes me to that. Now I do realize that right now I have the luxury of visiting any hiking location twice in order to get all of my footage for my video. But in the future, when I through hike the Appalachian Trail, I'll only have one shot at it. Look at this view right here. And check out the trail ahead. How amazing is this? Even better when the sun is out, although the company was better when I went out here last week.
<laughs> so what I'm learning from making all these videos is exactly what footage I need to gather from any one trail before I have to go back for a second trip. And that's a really important lesson to learn before I one way it up the Appalachian Trail. Now that we've enjoyed the sounds of the water, it's time to decide whether to continue around the reservoir or go to Disneyland, which I believe are trails designed for mountain bikes because look at how squiggly they are. Nope, no way. We are not about to be fooled by a cute little sign. We are going to continue on our way around this reservoir just like we planned. And we definitely made the right decision because look how close to shore we are. Oh, and there's a little trail right here. Look at this. Ooh, follow me, I'm going to take you there. Okay, this trail is getting better by the minute. Check this out. Look at this little path over the rocks to the shoreline. Okay, I really enjoyed that. And since this trail is hugging the shoreline, hopefully there are more of those little trips down to the water on the way. It does look promising. Oh, check this out. Do you see what I see? Right there. Hey. I will say, other than those wild ducks we heard earlier, the birds are out here, but much quieter, and it does make me miss spring and summer. But what can you do? The birds need to fly south. I'm also missing the sound of the cicadas. Ooh, we are at the cliff, and there is a path down there. Check it out. I'm calling it a cliff. It's not really a cliff. But whatever, you know what I mean. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I can't believe all trails would suggest we do a trail other than this. I'm so bummed we missed this last week. But I'm so glad to be here today. I'm climbing all the way up this backpack and all. Check out that huge boulder under the water right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Amazing. All right, I'm climbing up there next. That was a bit of a balancing act, so you're going to have to settle for still photography from the top of the cliffs. But there was a rope out there. People get up there and swing over the water. That is crazy. I would never do that because I would be the dumbass who swung out over the water, looked down and went, there's a rock down there and came back and hit the cliff. <laughs> yep, that would be a total me thing. Like, which is more dangerous? I'll hit the cliff. <laughs> and now this will be our last view of the reservoir before we turn and head back. And it's a pretty good view. I'll take it. That was really cool. I've never seen rock tripe before. And I've been around a lot of water sources. Oop, look, shortcut to mushrooms. <laughs> Does that ever get old? Not for me, it's one of my favorite things. And so is water, even if it's a tiny little trickling stream.
We are on the wide trail heading back to the duck car and we will be there very soon. But check out these pine trees and look at this bridge. All right, I'm having fun with filters. I told you I was going to insert some footage from last week where there was no sunshine. So let's go with an orange filter instead. Watch out for that hole. <laughs> and look at that. Just like that, the sun's back out again. <laughs> It's like a miracle. <laughs> Magic. I'm really enjoying these side trails. So the moral of the story is veer off of that main wide trail. It's not going to take you any place great, but these little side winding trails are beautiful and fun and will lead you to great places. Like through a stone wall crossing. And hey, guess what I see? The duck car. Oh, I said that too soon. Take two. Look what I see. The duck car.